making these. Hold on, day three. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Welcome to day, well, technically it's night three, but tomorrow will be the third day of us fasting. So I thought that I would start the vlog here. Today is Friday, tomorrow will be Saturday. We actually just got back from a friend's house um, and he teaches Islamic lessons, but since it's Ramadan now, he like invited us to break fast together. <laughs> what on earth are you doing? He invited us to like all break fast together and it was so beautiful and his wife did an amazing job at just like decorating and it just everything looked so good. <laughs> oh no, it looks well. Wow. So why did you bring it back alive? He said I went to slaughter the chicken and he told me where nobody can see me and I didn't find anywhere that Allah doesn't see me. He created the he created honorable slaves who do what they are ordered, and they are the angels. So as we know, Allah created the angels, and the angels never disobey Allah's orders. They never sin, and the angels are not females and they're not males. They're created from light, uh, and they obey Allah in everything that they're asked to do. And the food was incredible. So, yeah, we chilled. We had dessert. I tried. I think it's called atayif. For the first time, it's like those little like half moon pancake things <laughs> that's like there was some uh, stuffed with like almonds or sorry, walnuts. And then there was also some with cheese and it was so delicious. The one with wal uh, walnuts kind of tasted like an apple, an apple crisp or something. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, I just realized we've been totally forgetting to have the little chocolates in our advent calendar. I got this beautiful like countdown to Eid calendar, custom by Sop. And she actually sent this over and it's so cute. So I wanted to open this on camera and try them out. Also, like I was kind of like, why didn't I start this vlog earlier on in the day? Then I realized like technically the first day is the night. <laughs> the beginning of the day is the night, you know? Like we break our fast, we have our breakfast breakfast. Anyways, I'm being technical right now. But um, I didn't really do much today, honestly, so I didn't vlog. Um, I was kind of just in work mode today. I had a bunch of things to post and edit. And then my man and I went on a walk. And um, yeah, it was really nice. And then we came back and then we had to drive all the way to Irvine because that's where my friend's house is um, for the lessons. But anyways, this is what it looks like. It's so cute. It says under the Ramadan moon and on a couple of them, I think like every couple days or something, it has like new reminders. This one says say Bismillah. So let's just open this on camera together. And I've been dying to try the chocolate. So it's either a star or moon chocolate. And today there's a star. So I'm gonna take it out and I wanna try it. The chocolate is handmade in Toronto. So little hometown glory. I feel like I have to turn these lights on to get like the vibes, you know? Oh, okay, now it's too dark, sorry. Do you want a chocolate, babe? I'll eat some more. Huh? <laughs> you don't want to eat anymore? <laughs> you don't want to eat anymore? No. Okay, well, I'm going to have it by myself then. Oh, it smells so good. Bismillah. Mmm. I've never had an advent calendar before. Mmm. Oh, okay, wait. The chocolate is very good. I miss Canadian chocolate. These are sold out now, I think, but I'll link it below anyways just in case they come back for next Ramadan because I think this is good until like 2024. So like you can buy it now. I guess and not use it next year. Never mind. I don't know. I'll link it below in case you're curious. Mmm, that was delicious though. So today I didn't end up going to my workout. I also had the exact same thing for Sahur that I had the night before. But tomorrow, we already signed up for our workout, so there's no backing out now. We're going at 10.15 in the morning, so I will share that workout tomorrow. Anyways, I am going to relax and unwind. Um, it's pretty late, honestly. It's like almost 12, so honestly, I think I'm just going to change, brush my teeth, go to bed, and then wake up for suhoor, and tomorrow we have our workout. So, I will see y'all then. Good night. 
This is what we're having for Sahur. I'm having egg bites and plant-based sausage with some dates, smoothie, coconut water, and then I made him the, what is this? A beel, not beel. Egg bait. No, sorry. The egg, sausage, egg, and egg and cheese. cheese. Sausage, egg, and cheese on a bagel. Mm. Protein shakes. Protein shakes. Alright, let's eat. Enjoy. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. Again. <laughs> it's um just before 10 a.m. and we're about to go to our workout. We just slept for like another four hours and it was so good. I don't know why, but like sleeping after Fajr is like the best thing ever. Like I had such a deep sleep, it felt like a full night's rest. So I'm feeling really awake and energized and i'm excited for this workout um this is the first workout that i'm doing like during the day like last time um like the first day of ramadan i worked out um like right after fajr but this is like a little bit later so anyways this is what i'm wearing this is like a swimsuit cover-up from amazon but i like it because it's super thin and breathable to work out in and then these are just some leggings from fabletics and then my hijab is the the Lululemon hijab. So we're about to go. I just like peeled him out of bed because he just did not want to get up and go. But I signed us up last night because <laughs> you get charged $10 if you don't show up. So I signed us up. And he has to come now. Anyways, let's do this. Saturdays are always an hour, otherwise it's 45 minutes. Um, but it was good, there wasn't like too much cardio, which was good, it was a lot of like lifting. I think I got a few clips, but I don't know if they were very good. But I still am pretty tired, my lips are so dry. We're gonna have to head to UPS to drop this off, um, which is a, it's like a standing desk. I had initially ordered it, but we ended up just not needing it, so. We're gonna go return that and then what? Start our day. Fashion yeah, start our day. We have to take a shower. He's getting his hair cut today. We're going to the fashion district, which should be fun. So I'm gonna vlog all of that. I wanna find like um I wanna find some fabrics to put on the round glass table that I have because I'm doing like a dinner on Monday with Risky, uh, my assistant and her sister. Um, and I want to like make it look really cute. So we're going to see if I can find some like cute fabric for that. And yeah, a fashion district is always a good time. So it should be fun. It's a beautiful day. I kind of wish we like had time to walk to class or something. Cause I would have loved to walk back home right now. So it's been a couple hours. We're about to head out to the fashion district. Although it's like 4 18 right now. So I feel like we're kind of late. He just got a haircut, so he's feeling himself. <laughs> okay. We <laughs> back. <laughs> oh my god! If y'all would have seen the complete 180 this man just made, but we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> you want to tell him what happened? Stop it. <laughs> Listen, my baby hooked it up. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> just need some cleaning up. Uh -huh. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Um, 
Yes, we're gonna go. I don't know if these stores are closed already, so hopefully they're not. Inshallah, they're not. But let's go see what we can find. Good, how are you? I feel like this could work, possibly. Yeah. It's a little too sheer, but. Down. Yeah, is there more? All of this yes, is yes. it? Okay. More here and the next one. Okay, perfect. Finding fabrics. <laughs> So we didn't find exactly what I wanted, but I got something that I think will work really nicely too. So I got this like really sheer like tool. Is this like a tool? Or? Yeah, like a like tool thing. Um, and I'm just gonna like drape it over the middle and hope that that looks good. I think it'll look good though. Yeah, I feel like it'll look good. I think we're done. Are you getting fabrics? Uh, no, I see. Okay. All right, so I'm back home now and we went to, we just went to Whole Foods and picked up a couple things. I wanted to use up the rest of the meatballs that I made the other night, but I didn't want to make pasta again. So I got this fat loaf of bread and I'm going to make a meatball sub. I initially got salmon too, because I thought I was going to eat that, but I might just have some of this. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I've never made a meatball sub, so this is all experimental, but let's hope it turns out good. <laughs> remove some of the bread in here just because like it's gonna take up a lot of space and we don't really need all of that don't worry I won't be wasting that I'm gonna be making a salad as well so I'm probably gonna toast that or something and then use it as croutons got a lot of space there now I want to make like a sort of garlic butter situation there we go. I felt weird that like I was talking and you couldn't really see my face. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that's a little bit better. Although I want you to like see what I'm doing too. But anyways, I'm gonna make some garlic butter to place on here. I'm do like a nice healthy chunk of butter. I'm gonna melt this a little bit. I'm gonna heat this up in the microwave. I just added a little bit more sauce so that the sandwich isn't super dry. Garlic powder and that butter, and then I also have this like buttery steakhouse seasoning. And I just feel like this would be good in here too. Kinda hard to see, but... I'm gonna take some of that garlic butter. And just put it all over the bread. Okay, and now time for the meatballs. Some of that sauce first. Just smear it all over. Place all of the meatballs down. I feel like there's like a perfect amount of meatballs for this too. I kind of wanted a little spicy, so I added some red pepper flakes and then I'm going to just top that with more sauce. It's nice and juicy. All right, so now it's time for the cheese. I kind of wish I had like fresh mozzarella for this, but I think this is like Monterey Jack cheese. Subway style. <laughs> yeah, I just add a little bit more cheese, why not? Carefully place it here. And I'm gonna broil this in the oven so that it can like get all nice and melty and bubbly. And then I'll show y'all what it looks like when I'm done. All right, in the meantime, we need to use up all of this lettuce that I got from Costco. So I'm gonna make a salad. 
do have tomatoes. I almost forgot about these. I had some heirloom tomatoes from the farmer's market. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, it looks so good. insides of the bread. I just put it in the air fryer with a little bit of olive oil and crisped it up. And now we have some rustic croutons. This is what the Italian sub turned out like. I did kind of, <laughs> I forgot about it in the broiler so the top kind of got a little too crispy but the bottom is fine so hopefully it kind of balances out but it looks so cheesy and yummy. I'm so excited to dig into this and then I have our salad croutons and we're ready to go. Maghrib's in. Thank you baby. You're welcome. <laughs> you say bismillah? You gotta say bismillah. Bismillah. <laughs> bismillah. We're gonna go pray. And enjoy our iftar. Harun. <laughs> Is it like super zoomed or something? Let's inspect the sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's looking pretty good. Ooh. Oh, hey, hey, cut that to 60 40, like. Don't worry, I got you. <laughs> This one's for me. No, I'm just kidding. This one's for you. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's for moi. Y'all already know me, okay? Coconut water, a must every Ramadan, okay? Where's my glass? Don't mind the state of the kitchen, okay? I know it's dirty. I know it's messy. But this. Good. <laughs> Yum. Oh, I wish I had Instagram. Put this on Instagram. <laughs> your, your your hand can be in it. <laughs> this better be good. Damn, that's a big bite. Mm. Is it good? Yes. This is a fat sandwich. Good morning everyone. I feel like this is like the third time I've been saying good morning in this vlog. But I just wanted to end it over here because... <sighs> um, we knocked out last night after a flirt. <laughs> Actually, we hung out for a bit. Um, I watched All American. And then we just kind of like winded down for a little bit and then yeah we literally knocked out on this couch over here until it was time to eat Sohor. Thankfully within that time that I was like dozing in and out of sleep I set my alarm <laughs> to wake up for Sohor. Um, so yeah we woke up, we had the same Sohor that we always had, we had smoothie, I made him his sausage egg and cheese bagel, I had my egg bites with my sausage and yeah and just chugged a bunch of water and um we just finished praying fajr and i just wanted to end the vlog here thank you guys so much for spending saturday with us um i think i'm gonna vlog again today so i'll probably start that when i wake up or something but i just want to remind you guys that um we actually Isra just texted me and she said that we hit $5,000 um, in donations for Team Aisha. So thank you guys so much for, you know, putting in your donations um, for the food assistance in um, Gaza. 
in Syria and Lebanon. Um, I'm sure those people will be so, so appreciative and may Allah reward you for all your efforts and your donations, obviously spending your hard-earned money um, and donating it can seem like a daunting task, but, um, you know, may Allah just reward you tenfold for all of that. So if you guys would want to donate, then I always have the link at the top of my description box down below, um, and you can click that and make your secure donation, and everything goes directly to the UNRWA so that they can provide food assistance to those families. So I'm so, so excited. I think in total, all of the influencers have raised over $40,000 at this point, possibly more, um, which is just so incredible. Hopefully we can all hit like 100K by the end of Ramadan. That would be so, so special. Um, but I would love, I kind of increased our donation goal to 10K. So inshallah, you guys can help me reach that as well. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We are so close to 500K subscribers <laughs> half a million i never thought this would be possible truly um but it's all possible thanks to you guys but anyways i'm kind of rambling at this point i want to go to bed um officially and um yeah i will talk to you guys in tomorrow's video thanks for watching bye Mwah.